All right, guys, I'm uh, gonna show you really quickly how you can do pre-infusion on a uh, espresso machine that doesn't have uh, a pre-infusion setting or uh, like a timer. So all you have to do is during the espresso making, when the pump is building up the pressure, um, you turn on the pump for about three to five seconds before any liquid comes out. And uh, then wait for about five seconds for the espresso to pre-infuse, you know, in the porta filter. And when um, about five seconds pass, you can continue pressing the um, espresso making button to make your shot of espresso. And this one, uh, I'm gonna aim for 1.5 to 1.75 ounce of espresso. And as you can see, I already made my wife's cup of espresso ready to go. Uh, usually I make two cups and then we um, refrost um, the milk afterwards. Okay, so very, very easy. Okay, we're gonna hit the start button but make sure no liquid comes out, okay? All right, so about two, three seconds. Um, it already built up some pressure in the portal filter and uh, um, just let that water and the pressure in the portal filter brew for a few seconds. Once, uh, once about five seconds pass, you can just continue hitting the brewing machine, the brewing button to have the espresso come out. I'm aiming for 1.75, that's about right. And you just, you know, turn it off once you get your desired, you know, um, set up for your own espresso. And that's that's pretty much how you do it. So the pre-infusion, oh, got stuck on too tall. The pre-infusion is pretty much just uh, a longer time period for the espresso to kind of get fully soaked um, in the portal filter before it actually being pressed out due to a higher pressure, okay? Um, that's pretty much it. If you guys have any questions, feel free to ask me in the comment section down below. Otherwise, I hope you found this uh, quick tips video helpful in helping you getting the best out of your Gaja Classic Pro, or for that matter, it also applies to Gaja Classic and many other um, espresso machines in this caliper, which doesn't have a pre-infusion control, okay? So thanks again for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Take care.